Hey guys. So today I'm going to talk about the most problematic part that Chrysler sells, and that is for the 47 and the 48 RE transmission, manufactured basically from 96 to 2003. And this is for your four, this is basically a picture of your 47 and your 48 valve body. And what happened is Chrysler basically got rid of the governor and they added a solenoid to emulate governor pressure in a transducer to read it. Where the problem comes in is the solenoid is cheap. It's very problematic and like I said, it's Chrysler's number one part they sell. So generally these things within 40, 50,000 miles, they're failing. Cause your transmission to limp mode, stack in second gear, not want to upshift, not want to downshift, all kinds of shifting scenarios that are generally related directly to the governor pressure solenoid. And secondly, many times it will set a check engine light. So a great upgrade on any transmission, whether it's a stock transmission that's got 250,000 miles on it, or it's an aftermarket replacement tranny, this is a nice little block that we've come up with that basically replaces it. And this is how you do it. So I'm gonna show you how you do it in your vehicle. This is upside down, of course. You drop your transmission pan. And this piece here, you're gonna take out your four bolts, these four bolts on your governor solenoid and then you're going to unclip this little connector and you're going to unclip this guy and then this entire block comes off and we're going to replace it with this so there's two pieces to this block now the solenoid that we're upgrading is this little guy this very the real cheesy you know it just doesn't it just doesn't work very well it's just it strokes really slow and so this is a gm solenoid that is actually a mini miniature pressure regulator with a balancing circuit that has a big spool valve in it. So it has a lot of amperage, so it can really move with that big coil. It can really move that valve and it precisionly controls it. And then we'll take our original transducer. Now this transducer is your transmission temperature sensor. And it also is the feedback governor pressure control that comes back from the transmission. So it basically plugs right in like so and you have your nice little assembly well now this piece just like it is it comes all assembled it bolts right on here and we'll give that a nice little snug plug in and then we're gonna put our bolts back in here like so you're gonna get them all torqued up and then we supply you a nice little pigtail that plugs into the solenoid and then it plugs into your original connection like so and then once it's plugged in, you're good to go. Make sure you tighten this guy down. I didn't tighten up the bolt yet, but you have this solenoid that, or this clamp that clamps down your transducer and your solenoid. And that's it. There's no calibration, nothing to do. So literally drop your transmission pan, get rid of the old problematic wimpy one, put a nice little upgraded governor pressure block for your 48 and put a new filter on it, put the transmission back in. And I guarantee you, you will find a smoother shifting, the transmission will downshift like it's supposed to, it's going to upshift like it's supposed to, and it's not going to fail on you on a trip. So anything pretty much with a 5.9 that's 03 to 07 um, Cummins 5.9. Yeah, so like many parts we have, just check out our website. You can find a lot of these add-on parts under the Dodge heading. Um, you know, every transmission has a lot, of these, a lot of these little components you can add on to it, so the upgrade kits are where you're going to find them.